All right, I'm back. I know what's causing the crash, and I hate to give up the script. It's really stupid, but I can't seem to fix it. Uh, anyway, I'll be right back. We'll load that up. Okay. Folks, welcome to Crime O'Clock. So I did make it through the tutorial in this a little bit, so I have a decent idea what I'm doing. This was in the Indie World Showcase. I'm playing it on the Switch. I'm like 20 minutes in. I just did a couple maps, tutorial maps. So we we basically have a gigantic map with some time ticks on it that we can rewind. The maps I did, I don't know if you go forward, but you definitely go back. The maps I did went back. Uh, it's based in Italy. It's on discount right now. And there are a ton of cases to do. If you like what you see. All right, let's go. Uh, so the story so far is helping this um, time algorithm protect the timeline by fixing crimes that shouldn't have happened. Like somebody's messing with the timeline and causing criminals or <laughs> something. But uh, it is a... I would, I would describe it as like sort of Carmen Sandiego, but more Where's Waldo than that so far. Pretty chill, zoom in, can't really lose. Just take your time, you can get hints if you're going too slow. Uh, the first thing we need to do is find the victim and uh the way you do that is um you're not just looking around like this you're looking because these people are reacting to it like this dude's doing something and they're they're after him but um sorry i'm probably gonna mute my alerts but um yeah i appreciate it. <laughs> give me a second I see this dream now. We're looking for a victim. And when we find him, we just light this up. You hit that. <laughs> Thank you though. I appreciate it. I don't think it's this. Oh it is, okay. Well this is the crime we're after. We're after a, a murder. <laughs> We're not after that theft. 
we're not just solving random crimes. We're after a specific crime. One that shouldn't have happened. Nice. Okay, so now we're trying to figure out what happened. Actually, um, solved two crimes here already. this guy doing man all right this is your hint system something was used to cut the power and it's tiny An incredible shot. new look at all this data <laughs> okay so I haven't actually had control over the clock yet I don't know how to rewind time I think they did it already actually so we're looking for who did that hundred guys with, with bows. So here's the, uh, the tricky part, is figuring out where the hell he went from here. And he won't have gone too far because the time lapse is like 30 seconds or something like that. Looks like he's ditched his costume. <laughs> Does he just work here? No. Well, there he is. This is the, uh, so this is the same map I've done two cases on already, so I've actually seen some of these, um, things that are happening. 
I don't know what the hell this is about. I haven't investigated that yet. But I imagine we're going to do two or three more cases on this map based on what the menu was shown. Where the hell could he have gone? I don't think you should um, ditch the crossbow at the crime scene. That's probably a bad idea. Let's get a hint. Okay. So he he's definitely like around here. I kind of want to zoom in further. <laughs> I do not see him. I think you get these hints. Um, is that? He's not here. I think you get these hints every um, 30 seconds or so of not getting anything done. Hiding in a crowd. What the? He moved pretty far, actually. Compared to what I'm used to. Where did he throw the crossbow? Wouldn't have had a ton of time. Yeah, game is out on sale. It's on Steam too, I think. Yeah, I got that. Kind of gives me the vibes of uh, that one game with the the first Telltale game. I can't even remember anything about it. <laughs> it was a weird one, puzzle agent. But I don't remember what there was gnomes. There were gnomes everywhere. I was trying to f remember what the myth creature was that was in that.
I hate to use hints a bunch, but apparently I'm not seeing this. Oh yeah? He didn't put it on this thing somehow. I think I'm underestimating how far he can get in the time lapse here. But I also think that he just went left here. He still had it at this point. Oh, there it is, way up here. Yeah, the, the truck drove it really far away. The ticks are automatic uh, at the moment. I don't know that they continue to be. All right, it's time to do some weird hacking game. <laughs> There's been a couple of these. I didn't really understand one of the ones I did. They're all different from each other. So this is like the fourth one. Oh, there we go. Crossbow analyzed. Okay. We need to protect time. We don't actually care about busting the criminal very much. Yeah, there's some kind of mode that uh, I can access that maybe has full control that I don't have access to yet. Like I said, I just did two maps. I did the tutorial, more or less. We need to stop him without like getting him arrested because that's too much of a shock. I need to find him again. It would be... He could be anywhere now. On the last map, I was looking for a victim, and I remember trying to get that robot to light up, and I didn't understand why that wasn't the victim, so that's just the next case. This ain't him. <laughs> I don't think he's angry yet, either. I'll take a hint on this one, I guess. Let's see. That's what I figured he would be over here, but I didn't see him. I guess I'm looking for a crowd. With the big robot. Where's that robot at?
All right, where'd you go, Axel? I gotta remember what he looks like, which I apparently am bad at. So that little photograph thing they do is helpful. Is that him? No. This is so far away from the concert. I think I thought he was the other guy, actually. He's the one in front. I thought he was this dude right here, <laughs> but it's this dude. Action movie. Yeah, I need to pay more attention to this. The search. I wonder if it's always black and white. It kind of works, but it also makes it much harder. It's very detailed. You zoom in so much. All right, I'll take a hint again. That's what I figured. Like, I, I figured he would do that, and I still couldn't find him. Cafe's down left. At least one of them is. the dude who's committing the crime later, right? <laughs> but I don't see him down here. There's more places to eat. That looks like a band. I guess it is not. There he is. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I already found who he's sexing to, I think. But we're gonna we're gonna bounce around. I guess I'm looking for some commotion. They're not over here. Yet. This is the first time I've used my capture card since I moved in here. Seems like it's working okay. Where would they have gone next? Hard to miss, and yet I did. You can count on me. It parked here. Hacking in. How do I know when it's correct? <laughs> I'm trying to figure that out. Like I can make it match. Some of these are confusing mini games to me. I think I need to match the red in the back. I think that's what they want. There. technical terms of IP address. I understand those. <laughs> Disposed. Hey, no problem. case may be solved. Hey. 
You're under arrest for texting. It's a time ghost. Hey, that's a case. Nice work, everybody. somewhere new. Corpse near pyramid. What the? I don't think this is the pyramid they mean, probably, but maybe. Are there any other ones? There's not as many corpses near pyramids as there used to be. Actually, maybe there's more. I don't know. Not as many old ones. Do not see anything here. Uh, it's lost in the the plot because there's something even though we're time travelers something something they don't actually remember this day and age like it, it seemed like the 19th century eight then 20th century were also lost <laughs> um anyway there was a period of time where we kind of just used mummies to make ink for some reason to make brown ink so some famous paintings you've seen used actually just threw mummies onto the canvas for some reason that was a that was a nice fad until we ran out of mummies i'm not sure why that was a thing but that seems like a actually a thing <laughs> that was a thing i don't see any commotion anywhere well i mean i see commotion but i don't see any dead bodies levels of commotion This looks like something's going on. But it doesn't seem like the murder.
What the? That's not the crime we're looking for. There's only one pyramid that I saw, and it doesn't look like a pyramid pyramid. It looks like a building topper. So I, um, and I didn't see anything near it. This one's under construction, but this is probably where it's at. I need to look closer. Yeah, this is some weird history that you don't usually hear about because it's stupid. <laughs> it makes the country writing the book look silly. You know, you don't get that kind of fact usually. Pretty easy to verify, though. I'm gonna take another hint, but um, I don't think I'm. In the, I don't think I'm in the right place. Yeah. Okay. I am. I just don't see any anything going on here. You're doing all right. Nobody's like, if there's a murder, no one seems to be upset about it. I didn't notice it yet or whatever. Oh, damn. That's pretty tiny. I mean, the stone pile isn't tiny, but the, the arm out of it is pretty tiny. Thanks for the host. What's up, everybody? We're doing some investigation. Look for more clues. Where'd these rocks come from? hacked into the winch <laughs> thumbs up Somebody was near it with tools. But none of these people. These people are all busy. I'm zooming out. Is 
incorrect. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this game being on the Switch is super cool because it's it's the kind of game you can just play for a little bit, right? This is the value of portability. Yeah, let's see. Where'd this mouse go? Parabox. Did they just keep working after after the incident? Everybody just keeps on working. Hey, man. He's got receipts. How's the incident going? You can't actually see what's going on and um I wonder if actually if there's a way to hide the uh pictures. Because I kinda am curious what's going on underneath it now. But I don't think you can do that. I was just curious if they've cleaned it up. Seems like everybody's already back in order. Maybe they went to the market and yelled at um, that dude for the bad copper. Do not see him anywhere. I'm gonna look around a little bit more before I get the hint. Some big cheese. It wasn't just that the dude's copper was bad. It's that he got hate mail engraved on like stone and then kept it <laughs> and put it in his house. Kept it lots of it. Kept hundreds of mail. A big contribution to history because he kept his hate mail. You can read it and study. Oh, they wrote back then. Thanks, Anasir. Unhappy customers. The original. It's the Lion King.
I wonder where they went with their big cheese. Bought the big cheese and then what? What they do with the cheese? Oh, he's rich. You got a big hat and big cheese. Um, I haven't tried it on handheld. I could really quick. I don't have a way to stream that though. I bet that it works. I bet that you can click on it to get the same magnifying glass thing if you want. Um, I would assume that it does. I can check before I call it. I'll just confirm or deny that. Off screen. Usually that has the same effect as a, a mouse in most games. Yeah, this game seems like it has a truckload of content, actually. And it's all drawn like this. Which, uh, I mean, you, you get what you see here. It's, uh, I think it's pretty interesting. So this dude's not going to be going back to work because he seems like he's been paid off or something. So I, I figure he's either going home with a bunch of stuff or he's buying even more junk. Going swimming or something. Now, hopefully Nintendo's next console has Joy-Cons or whatever that aren't broken. Even the $80 Switch Pro Controller needed me to open it up and fix it. That ain't great. <laughs> I think that's the worst problem. They've never been like that, in, in my experience, with other hardware that they made. I guess the N64's joystick was like that. But it went through a couple years. I don't know. I guess it didn't. I guess the Joy-Con lasted about as long as that. he doing this fancy hat this crocodile I was kind of expecting a switch like I don't know revamp just a step up in hardware same console same games I felt that way about the DS and I still kind of do now that I look I, when the DS came out I thought it was like the greatest console ever and it couldn't be improved upon and I look at it now and it's a little clunky it's wasting a little bit of real estate but it's still kind of super neat actually and I feel like that way about the switch um I just wanted to have better hardware I wouldn't change much. Anyway, he just teleports around, yeah. I think that might be something that's hard to follow is where he's going next. Finally asking the, the tough questions.
Like, I still like my DS. Uh, my original DS. I've never used the other ones. It sounds like they've kind of dropped support for them, unfortunately. Yeah, it was super confusing. I actually don't know the difference between the DS and the the other three DS <laughs> DSs. Should be back at work getting orders. Okay, so he bought junk and um, saved him money to buy a new hat. I've solved the case. I saw a pile of junk in here somewhere. I think that that might just be the story that it goes to. Ocean shop. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. The junk. the Wii U but yeah it was poorly named um that had Mario Maker on it right like that wasn't on the Wii uh that was such a super good game and there were some other ones like it that should have been fine but boy howdy what a <laughs> disaster with man let's hack into the list Okay, the goal here is to um, pick the one that will lead to the next one. I don't think any games really use the second screen except for like Wonderful 101 and Star Fox, and I wouldn't say that Star Fox used it smartly. I can't think of any other ones that I really thought needed that second screen. Pretty ambitious. And the games didn't measure up for that, but that doesn't really matter. 
I thought the console was fine on its own anyway, and I like the portability of it. The <laughs> portability in air quotes, but yeah. Okay, solved. Let's do one more. North Market Street. What are you looking at? Oh, man. My pots. I don't know what year it's supposed to be. <laughs> the nebulous feature. can check out the rock pile now. Actually, it looks like it's fixed. We changed history, so yeah. Where's the goat's owner at? Oh, there. No. Never mind. That's a snake.
I've never actually played Splatoon, and it's the kind of game I probably would have been super into at the right time. I don't know, I see this goat. It shouldn't be that hard to find a goat. Presumably running around um, in the opposite direction here. There it is. We're still looking for the goat. Fool. I didn't think I'd like motion controlled aiming, but in Breath of the Wild it worked pretty well. We're thinking this guy did this on purpose. I don't think I've seen his stall. Does he make money? There's this goat? Or maybe it's another one.
Oh, trying to sell some. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. He's trying to make money, but I couldn't find him. All the merchants seem to be in this zone. I didn't think he'd be far. There. do after failing. <laughs> Sells a drink. This is him, right? Yeah. He's gonna buy the goat. As his is right. I'm hacking in. Thumbs up. Whoa, that's rough. That's interesting. A way to speed up finding the fellas.
It seems to be somewhere. He's shambling. Interesting hint system there. That ain't him. mad. How does he get the goat with no money? He steals the goat. Nice. Good for you. It, it was fun. I'm gonna just quickly load one of these up um, and check the touchscreen thing somebody asked about, but yeah, that'll do it for me. Otherwise, let's take a look. Let me get to where it's just normal gameplay, replaying a case I did already. Oh, no, it's not. Well, that's okay, I'll still do it here. Pick the new one. Um, this will kill my feet, of course. It doesn't look like touch screen. Oh, you know what? It does. You can. You can pan and click. It works. On the Switch screen, you can pan and click with it like you're using two mice. Or a phone, you know? Touch screen controls. Seems like it works just fine. Anyway, yeah, that's this game. Pretty neat. Wasn't sure. It's, it's, um... Not usually my wheelhouse, but I actually like this pretty well. Hey, thanks for joining me, everybody. That's Crime O'Clock. Let's see who's online. Uh, Skybills, first time FF6. That's some cool stuff. Check that out. I'll see you later, folks. Have a good one.
I'm going to be finishing FF3 NES tomorrow, if you're interested in that. There's almost no way that I won't finish it tomorrow, so that's on the agenda. Have a good one.